Cycling in the Maritime Alps near Imperia? Just something for the very fit or professional cyclists? No, say TV presenter Ludger and girlfriend Suzanne. They will show us a beautiful and easy cycle path. It starts in the small fishing village of San Lorenzo, a few kilometres from Imperia. Since San Lorenzo was discovered by holiday makers, the village has transformed itself without losing its typical character. The bike tour starts at the old railway station. This is no co coincidence because the cycle path replaces the old railway line and runs directly along the coast. We rode on the new cycle path from San Lorenzo to San Remo, and you won't find such a cycle path elsewhere. And it is also worth stopping and pushing the bike because the views are fantastic. The next stop, Santo Stefano al Mare, is right next to the cycle path. Small Romanesque alleys run through the town. The great thing is that we come from the north and there the wind always blows. No matter which direction you come from, it always blows against you. And this bike path is so nicely protected that I like to ride it because the wind is not against me. Pretty bars have replaced railway workers' houses. A pleasant break for the many cyclists. Suzanne and Ludga decide to stop only at Arma di Taggia. Half the route has been covered. The view is of the sea and we need a good sip of wine, Ligurian of course. And it wouldn't be Italy without a performance. You have chosen a glass of Vermentino, a grape variety that has become increasingly popular in Liguria in recent years. Cheers, salute. If you want, you can also take a break on one of the many beaches. Suzanne and Ludger recommend taking swimming things with you. In addition to the sea, the tunnels also help you cool down on hot days. And it's also a rather special experience. San Remo appears, the city of the rich and beautiful on the Riviera. A pleasant place to end the tour. Not quite right for tired cyclists, but before going back, Suzanne and Ludger treat themselves to an aperitif. <laughs>